Recently I made a video about my vocal chain, demonstrating it in Presonus Studio One DAW. Few people requested if I could demonstrate it using Cakewalk by BandLab. So in this video, I'm going to use my song Lonely Road and my vocals, demonstrating the process of my vocal chain in Cakewalk by BandLab. On the screen you can actually see my vocal track and my vocal clip recorded nicely at minus 12 dB on the peaks. The reason it's recorded nicely at minus 12 dB because I use the Presonus Studio Channel Tube Mic Pre on the way in with just a touch of compression to take care of the peaks. Now this is not necessary, but it's quite useful. It makes the job easier when you are editing in the DAW. So if your recording does have a lot of peak, because you have not uh, compressed it on the way in, you have not processed it on the way in, then this example might really help you out. Just so that we can understand before and after the processing, let's have a quick listen of my raw audio. I've been staring in your eyes I've seen no reflections of me Now let's have a listen in context with the music as well Okay, as you can hear, my vocal is drowned in the music Now you might ask, we can bring the music down but the better way is to actually process my audio so that my vocal stands out right in your front, powerful, and we are able to hear every word that I say, including the wrong words. <laughs> so let's have a look at the vocal channel. Just going to click the mixer to open up the mixer. Let's find the vocal track. It's right there. And then to view the pro channel, we just click the icon right here, and that will open up our pro channel. and I will go through each one and explain what is actually happening. But before I do that, let me explain that how the audio flows in your channel. It starts from the top, then goes to the Pro Channel, then into your FX, then descends, and then all the way down to the fader and into the master bus. If you don't know about sends, they basically tap into the channel audio and send it into another bus. In this case, my reverb and the delay bus. So the signal, set the amount by this knob, will actually go to the reverb, and the amount set by this knob will go into the delay. And then the output of this reverb and delay is mixed into the master bus. It's a better way to process audio than putting your reverb and the delay in as a plugin in the effects channel. That way you can use one plugin, one reverb, one delay and send multiple channels into those reverbs. But that's a topic for another video. We can enable and disable the global pro channel using this button here. That disables everything in the pro channel from top to bottom on and off. Now because I want to actually process my third-party effects plugin before the pro channel, the pro channel has a module called the effects channel and you can add that by effects chain here. So in this effects chain you can add third-party plugins as you can see here. Very similar to what you can do at the bottom here. This allows me to have my effects chains before the pro channel. I mean there is an option here it's called post and pre. As you can see it says pre or post effects rack. So you can use that button to push the pro channel behind the effects. At the moment, it's pro channel, then the effects. By pressing post, what it does is it pushes the pro channel behind the effects. So you can have some effects, third party plugins there that get processed before the pro channel. But because I want to process these third party plugins and then have something else after the pro channel, that's why I've decided to use the pre-FX and use this FX chain module. If you want to know why I have so many compressors and plugins in my vocal chain and what they are actually used for, if you haven't watched my previous video, I will put a link uh, at the top corner 
or in the description so you can watch that because I actually go through and explain a lot of the reasons why I use this chain for my vocals. Because in this video, I'm just quickly go through them and show them how it's done, not the reasons why. So if you want to learn about the reasons why, please make sure you go and watch my previous video on my vocal chain. Okay, so let's go through it. My first one is an equalizer. The Sonatus effects equalizer is free available in Cakewalk. It's a stock plugin. And in this one, I'm just using an 80 hertz frequency to roll off all the lower frequencies to get rid of rumble and noise and energy that we don't need at the bottom end. Next, I have my first compressor, and this is the peak limiting compressor. It has high ratio, 20 to 1, and it's hard knee, so that any signal above minus 13 dB threshold will get really compressed down and slammed down. I don't have any makeup game because what we're trying to do is remove the peaks. So if your recording has any signal that's going above minus 13 dB, it will get clamped down. It has fast attack and fast release as well. We just want to capture the peaks. The next compressor is more like our leveling compressor. This one has ratios 6 to 1. It has soft knee. What that means is this is nice and curved and it will start compressing before it reaches the minus 14 dB threshold. So it's smoother reduction of your peaks. And then in this example, I'm giving 2.3 dB of gain. Now this all depends how much gain reduction you're happening. So you watch what, how much gain reduction is happening at your, you know, the loudest part of the song, and then you increase that to the same level so that you bring out all of the compressed lower frequencies up to balance it out so that your input and your output have the same level. Bit slower attack and slower release because we don't need to capture peaks. They've already been taken care of by the first compressor. Now you'd normally have a gate right at the beginning. In this example, I just put it in the end. It doesn't matter. The gate basically cuts off any sort of background noise between verses, between words. So, uh, you know, any microphone leak um, won't be there, any breaths and noise in between. It just won't cap, it will just cut it. So you get nice, clean audio coming through. Straight after that, because I've got two compressors, so my tone really changed. So I've got my EQ module turned on. And for that, again, I am basically cutting some of the low end, getting some warmth for my vocals, and then some intellig intelligibility at about 2K, and then some air at the top. Very gentle, not much, couple dB, if that, around those frequencies. Once my vocal tone is corrected, I have my final compressor, and this compressor is the 1176 equivalent, that is, again, a free module in Cakewalk. There's two compressors. One is this one, the 1176, and there's also another one which is, oops, oh, no, oh, it won't show because I already have this compressor on it. And there's another one very similar to um, LA-2A, but not the LA-2A compressor here because that's uh, not a free version. And this compressor is basically leveling everything out. Again, very slow attack and, you know, um, reasonably slow release, 0.2 seconds. Um, it's got a makeup gain of 6 dB because it's reducing anywhere between um, 2 to 4 dB and the ratio is 2 to 1. And that is followed by the console emulator. This is a great module in the Pro Channel. It emulates the SSL type, Neve type, and so on. Um, it allows you to actually have a drive emulating, you know, analog consoles. And the other great thing is it's got this tolerant button. What it does is that every time you add this module into your any of your channels, they have a different tonal characteristic. Because in digital world, everything you copy, everything you add, they're exact duplicate. So by clicking this tolerance it gives some randomness in each 
track, so they don't process the same way. You, you'll get the feel of, you know, analog world, because in analog world, no two resistors, transistors, capacitors have the same value. Even at, you know, 1% uh, sort of tolerance resistors, they still have that 1% difference. So that's why it's really great and gives you a nice tonal characteristic for your track. So now that you know what my vocal chain is in this example, let's have a listen and then turn it on and off. You will hear a subtle difference, but that subtle difference will actually bring out most of my vocal. Let's just solo it out. So we're going to listen without it first. I've been staring in your eyes. I've seen no reflections of me. Turn it on. You just keep telling me lies. You think you can really fool me. Okay, let's have a listen in context with the rest of the music. First, without it. Another great plugin that I actually found, which I believe it is part of the Cakewalk by BandLab, the free version, is Tube Leveler, which is this one here. So I'm just going to enable it. This is basically creates, uh, you know, uh, saturation and clipping, soft clipping, that will actually enhance and give a little bit more power to the vocals. So let's have a listen with and without it. I'm uh, basically driving it a little bit more, and you can see this waveform, it sort of indication what it will do. So smooth and, you know, a little bit more uh, clipping. And you have drive, which drives the thing in and so on. So anyway, let's, let's give it a try and see how it actually sounds. I've been staring in your eyes. I've seen no reflections of me. On. Just keep telling me lies. Do you think you can really fool me? Let's have a listen by itself, and you can tell the difference on and off. It just gives a little bit of grit and you know um, power to your vocals. I've been staring in your eyes. I've seen no reflections of me. You just keep telling me lies. You think you can really fool me? Yeah, it sounds really, really great. You know, nice and soft saturation. Lovely on. You can give it a try, see how you actually go with your vocals. Next, I'm just going to add reverb. And the reverb, of course, I'm using in this case is the penagement that I've de demonstrated uh, not long ago. And this is penagement 2. And I'm using it just as a reverb. I've been staring in your eyes I've seen no reflections of me You just keep telling me lies You think you can really fool me And then I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, delay as well in there I've been staring in your eyes I've seen no reflections of me. Let's have a listen in context with the rest of the song. I've been staring in your eyes. I've seen no reflections of me. You just keep telling me lies. You think you can really fool me. Why do I keep falling in love When I know you're mistreating me All the people around me Keep telling me to stay above She's the devil in disguise Tearing my whole life apart She Love. She just keeps breaking my heart. 
there we go. That's my vocal chain in Cakewalk by BandLab. And if this video was helpful, make sure you give me the thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio, guys.